Hello and welcome to Assemble with Sarah. Today we are assembling the 70th edition Weber kettle. Um, so I am just unboxing it, taking everything out of the box, getting rid of all the packaging so I can see what I'm working with. They give you your instructions so you can use these for your reference. The first thing is to put the ash catcher on. You'll need to slide the ash catcher handle through the hole. And the next thing is to put on the legs. So we will be putting the front leg on first, which is the long straight one without any kind of bends in it. And make sure you put the clip for the leg in the correct way. And the front leg goes on under the handle. We're next putting the other leg on, so put the clip in again on the right way, and you just need to make sure that it goes in the right hole so that the um, flat part of the wheel, well, where the wheel will be held, is on the outside. Um, you can put then the uh, leg brace on. You just need to hook it around the front leg and swif swiftly flip it over, and then you can install the final leg. Again, making sure the clip is in the correct hole and that the leg is in the correct position for the wheels. Next, you can uh, pop the wheels on the side. So pop one on the spoke, and then you'll use the little grips to hold the wheel in place. So do that on both sides. And then you can get the wheel hubcaps, which are a nice addition to this anniversary grill, and just pop them on um, each side. Then just add the front wheel cap on, just pop it on and push it, and then flip the barbecue over. Next section, we're going to be installing the lid holder. Um, so you've got the lid holder brace and um, the bit that goes down the bowl of the body. Um, pop the spokes in the side with the um, spacer. So it's like a black spacer. And make sure you have the right nuts um, to do so. And then just fix the bottom on the hole at the bottom of the bowl as well. Now this bit is a bit tricky to tighten up, so sometimes you might need a little bit of a hand or get a spanner because the plastic tool might not be strong enough. So once your lid hanger or holder uh, has all been tightened up, you can then install the concealed ash catcher, which is a bowl. You just squeeze the handle and slide it in the bottom there. And then you can install the charcoal grate, the charcoal baskets, and then the cooking grate. Next, I'm just getting out the bowl handle. Um, you need to fix this on, but also do put the tool holder on the handle. I forgot to put this on, so I screwed the handle on and I had to undo it and then put the tool holder on the handle. So just make sure that you do that all in one piece. Now the lid handle, um, the nuts are attached, so undo the nuts, then you can pop it on the lid and then put the little flared nuts on the other side of the lid and just use your black tool to tighten these up. Make sure you don't tighten them too tightly, otherwise sometimes this can crack the enamel. Then we are popping the wood effect handle on top of the lid handle. Um, it is wood effect, but it is plastic. Just to save your little fingers there from getting burnt. Health and safety. Next, we have the lovely Aston Martin themed thermometer. Um, we're putting the bezel on and then popping the thermometer inside and then just doing the wing nut up on the other side. So it all looks lovely. So with the barbecue, you get a lovely Weber plaque you also get a really heavy duty fancy bottle opener as you can see here nice um, and then you're good to go you can probably hang the bottle opener on the lid handle once you remember to put it on you've got your charcoal measuring cup which comes with every barbecue charcoal barbecue and there we go you have your 70th anniversary Weber kettle 